In this tutorial, we're talking about combining like terms. And in the intro, we learned that like terms are terms that have the same variable and the same power, or the same exponent. And we saw a couple real life examples. We saw a Mario Kart game and a basketball game. And in the videos, I asked who is on the same team. Well, let's take a look at a picture here. We have a picture of a basketball game. Who would you say is on the same team here? I'm going to go ahead and highlight some guys that I see that are on the same team. The guys in the white jerseys are on the same team. How did I know that? Because they're wearing the same color jerseys. That's how we tell that they're teammates. Well, with combining like terms is basically the same thing. We're looking for people or terms that have the same jersey or they look the same. So let's take a look at an Algebra 1 example. We have the example 4x plus 3y minus 2x. And if I were to ask you who is on the same team, who would you say? Yeah, that's right. 4x and minus 2x would be on the same team because they have the same letter or the same jersey, whatever you want to call it. They look the same. We're going to combine those. And here's the tricky part. When you're combining like terms, all you're worrying about is the big number in front. It's called a, a coefficient. Here the coefficients are 4 and minus 2 or negative 2. We're only going to combine those numbers. We don't worry about the letters. That's just the jersey. You don't need to do anything with it right now. We're going to do 4 minus 2 because there's that minus in front, which is 2. And then you leave the jersey on because you don't want them to play without a shirt. 4 minus 2 is 2, which will leave you with 2x. And we're left with 2x plus 3y. And our final check is to see if there's any more teammates after we simplify. Are there any more? No, because they don't have the same letter. We're good. We can't do anything else. Let's take a look at another example. We have 7 plus 2xy plus 5xy minus 3. And once again, who's on the same team? Right away, I see that 2xy and 5xy look exactly the same. They have the same jersey, the same letters. Those are teammates. We're going to add those up because there's a plus sign in the middle. 2 plus 5 is 7. We have 7xy. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. We got 7 plus 7xy minus 3. Looks like we're done, right? Wrong. We got one more step. So there's another set of teammates here. If you might have noticed, the 7 and the minus 3 are teammates. You might be saying, well, they don't have any letters. They don't have a jersey. So how can they be teammates? Well, that's a good question. If you have just straight up numbers, we call those constants. And if there's just two constants with no letters next to them, those are teammates because they look very similar. They both don't have a letter. We're going to combine those. We have 7 minus 3, which is 4. We're left with 4 plus 7xy as our final answer. One last example. We have 5x squared plus 3x minus x squared. And this one's a little tricky too because right off the bat, it looks like they're all teammates because they all have the same letter, right? Well, there's one other thing that we learned in the intro. In order to be teammates or like terms, they not only have to have the same letter, but they also have to have the same exponent. The only two terms that have the same letter and exponent here are 5x squared and that minus x squared. Those are our only teammates. We gotta combine those. 5x squared minus x squared looks a little tricky, but whenever there's just a minus x squared, we know we can put a one in front there because it's just the invisible number. 5x squared minus 1x squared is 4x squared. And then we're left with 4x squared plus 3x. That's as far as we can go. We're done. That's combining like terms.